better not be cursed. The game usually tries to go you, go you. Um, the game usually tries to get you to go down the common path, you know, the main path that everyone's going to do, and it's going to give you an okay story. You're all right, I guess. I just realized that if I leave the goblin camp, camp bleh, 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 are they gonna know that I attacked the fuck out of their leaders? Are they gonna be angry with me? We'll find out. But that's going to be the path mostly followed, and I don't want that path. I want the path of my choosing. He's here. I can fight them, I guess. Oh, I didn't even know they were here. The fuck? Bitch. You're mine. I need to stay focused. Here you go, broski. I am fury. I am death. Absolute power. Oh yeah, she has a new she has that. The faith breaker. I forgot about that. Let's see what that does. Oh, I didn't know there were people over there. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Why? You guys shouldn't be able to shoot me through there, the fuck? Yeah, but you still shouldn't be able to shoot me through the fucking door. Can't give up. Not now. Must take a short rest, okay? That's fine. I still- I just wanted to know what it did. How close- I can't give her- That's okay. Am strong. Oh yeah, I forgot that I could rally. Nothing will stand in my way. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> now I want to save that. I don't have sneak attack on anyone, I don't know why I'm even trying. Ooh, dope. They do not. Okay, great. Ready. On the move. Ah! 
Bitch. I'm fury. I am death. This is your end. <laughs> Nope. We should short rest. Open up. are watching me. Here goes nothing. Please tell me nobody knows that I attacked people. No! No fucking way. Go this way. Now we're talking. Right? Yes, and then come over here to this road over here. Then cut. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Uh -huh. It cares about some pig. Mm -hmm. It's dead. Let's go. What's in here? <laughs> Me? The pig's uh -oh. dead, my friend. <laughs> Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. There's gotta be a reason. Dude. No! I should have inspiration, right? Yeah, I have inspiration. Roll again, add bonus. Oh yeah, because I have guidance. Okay. Oh, well I didn't need it. The boar seems to be fresh. Only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see <gasps> two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? You know something about this, don't you? Yeah, don't you know something about this? Did you do it? Did you do it? And I should be fine. Yeah. Did you do it? Did, he could have done it before I met him. I it's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. Yeah. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. Mm-hmm. Are they? But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now, please, let's go. Hmm. Strange interaction. Interesting. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? Mm. Why do you hate her so much? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. What are we gonna do, Bray? Yes, I found it. Wait, no, this isn't the right one. The fuck? Hi? <laughs> yeah, they hate each other for some reason. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. The fuck? As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Ew. 
It would, you know what? If they start flirting with each other, I'm gonna push them together. Whenever we first left the ship, Jay, um, me and her, me and this girl right here, the one who hates the other girl, I asked her, I was like, where's our friend? And she's like, you better think twice about calling her a friend. I was like, the fuck did she do to you? Um, I don't want to do... Whatever. <laughs> Lovers to enemies. <laughs> it would be funny if uh, we did actually find out that... I don't think they know each other. I, but I think it may be actually racial tension. Because the gith, which is what the other girl that we can't see is... They're very up themselves like the royalty of the gith are up themselves and so everyone underneath them which would be her falls in line and then they're like very isolationist you know from what i understand so i think it's something like racial tension that she doesn't trust gith i'm so so sorry it's our brother true soul edwin he's injured and i i wasn't thinking your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Try to black him out, hold a stare. Hold a stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brynna, new recruits. Yours to shepherd. Ah. Protect them. Mind the true soul. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Um, yes. Um, suck my cock. You're mistaken, I'm no true soul. True soul, explain. I know all this. I hear one. What happened to your brother? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. I know we where that's at. to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. I kind of want to fight the owl bear now. For funsies. You will need to find the beast and avenge your brother. Forget, forget the owl bear. I'll get it. And, and just leave Ed. I suppose. I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. By the way, how's my mic in comparison to the game sound? Sounds like trouble. Oh, oh, oh! Dramatic much? The man is dead, but okay, good. I'm glad. shifts beneath his features. A glistening tadpole emerges, oh. slithering up past a sightless eyeball. The same as the creature behind your eye. It needs a new daddy. It seems to curl upwards in recognition, then shrinks back down, eager to escape. No. One squeeze should do it. But you stop mm. short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, so pure? Resisto's urges. Um, I mean, 
This is based on which I do better at, which is a d20 plus one. Nasty. It's even nastier in the beginning. Oh my goodness, Jay, you should at you should watch the whole game because the beginning literally starts with us getting that shoved in our eyeball, and it's pretty pretty nasty. Disgusting. <laughs> well, actually, the game. Uh... The tadpole plops to the ground. Now is your chance to stomp it into the dirt. Squish. But it's too precious, too sweet. Oh my god. Isn't it? It's, I want it as a pet, not gonna lie. It would be cute as a pet. Um, but it actually starts with us seeing them stick one of those things into the gift's eye. Um, focus, whatever it, whatever is in your mind, it isn't you. Okay, so it just depends on which one I do better at, it doesn't matter. Constitution. No, no. <laughs> I will try one more time. If I don't get it, then it's just not meant to be. Oh, my God. One more time. I'll use all my inspiration. Good enough. It worked. Intention zips from your mind to your heel. You crush the tadpole into the ground and fight off the well of sorrow swelling in your chest. Damn. Damn. Hello. This so-called true soul carried a tadpole. Yeah. Their absolute is their <laughs> god. It is a geich deception sown by the parasites devouring their minds. That such a thing lives inside me is unbearable. Um, a deception. Do you think the absolute is a mind flayer ploy? Just a thought disgusts me. Is it what's the same we heard before this? Yeah. I'm gonna say no. No, the absolute, I don't think so. The absolute's just the god of the goblins, is it not? No, because the human had it. Oh my goodness. The absolute might be the voice that I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna fuck that voice. Um... The voice is real. Its words are a fraud. Shared delusion is not a conventional symptom. The Mind Flayers have a plan for these true souls. Which means they've a plan for us. I'm gonna be nice to her and see what happens. For the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. I never clapped your sister's Rothia. cheeks. Hag, you was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there! Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this! We we won't. Oh, ask insight again. failed. That's what happened last time too. Just because she's an old woman in a swamp, she's a hag. Lay off the fairy tales, lads. <laughs> you do with me, except I want to be nice to her. Be careful! He's with the hag! Don't bloody stand there gaping! Get him! Okay. Um, you're gonna regret saying that. They die anyway, so I don't feel bad for this. Which one's better? Or should I do dissonant whispers? Be 24. I could just do this. No, because that's only one person. I want to see if I can kill them both in one go. Oh my stars! <laughs> I, I didn't mean for this to happen. 
<laughs> the best things are paid in gold. Do you know this Marina that I mentioned? She's their little sister, and she's staying with me. This is all my fault. But I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her, and my word is my bond. That poor thing will be distraught. We can't let her know it'd break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. Mm -hmm. Hello. Bah. Bah. Uh -huh. bah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really funny knowing that it, they're Fae. Waypoint discovered. Bah. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, game and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all gur were vagrant cutthroats. <laughs> Racist. That's not a race, is it? Ignore the elf, he talks too much. You should listen to your companion. Next, he'll warn you that my people can curse your cow to give only sour milk and will seduce your daughter to a life of roaming. Oh, that sounds fun. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. <laughs> if I were a cutthroat, I wouldn't admit it either. And I have no proof to offer but my word. If you wish it, our paths need not cross again. I'm hunting a vampire spawn. Mm. And it's a little too bright for you to be my prey. I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. A vampire spawn? Why? Yes. Yes, fine. It's just specific. Why not kill the gnolls or goblins rampaging around here? It is a sacred mission from the head of my tribe. She sent me here to capture the beast and return it to her. Capture? And bring it where? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Mm. Under all the smiles, you can feel Astarian's tension. He's coiled like a spring, hand inching to You're asking questions. <laughs> Is your friend ill? I have some tea that might help. No, no. I'm quite well. We I don't draw, but you have fun tracking your monster. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not join us? Yeah, we could really use a monster hunter. We've got one walking around with us twenty four seven. Thank you. Treating with a hag. I need all the luck I can get. May your road be kind. You have a fi oh. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Fight her, and I really don't feel like it. I know she's gonna be powerful. Well, then again. Can you remove it? You I'll just say yes, Auntie. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? I could attack her for funsies if I feel like it. I know a devil that's offered to remove it. A devil? <laughs> Spare me. Blathering windbags in love with the sound of their own voices. I'm the safer bet. Plus, you'll get to keep your soul. I don't have one, so I wouldn't really lose anything. Well, 
That depends on the job. Removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I'll pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. You want one of my eyes? Why? Oh, my. Yeah, will my sight be damaged? A touch, but sure, you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. <laughs> I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. I'm trying to... I thought there was a way for me to just be like, I'll come back. I'll try my luck as well. I think that's what I told her last time, because I want to save first. Ethel... Can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open. Okay, yeah. Little. Auntie Ethel is here for you. I can just walk into homes now. Mm -hmm. This gets better and better. Sweetness. Wait, oh, I wonder what You're that... going to give me one of those precious peepers. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, Glorious. take my eyeball. One moment, and she needs her real nails for this. This is fun. 112, yeah, I knew it was a good thing not to fight her. You precious little peepers. Look at her, she's so hot. Why don't you just blink and the wilderness changes. Love her for life. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Much better. That human skin is fierce, restrictive. Is she hot or what? What the hells are you? Close that mouth, precious. Let's just swallow a fly. Not many get to see a hag in all her glory. Consider yourself blessed. Now choose which eye will it be, right or left? <laughs> Jay, you get to choose which eye, left or right. Left? Okay. That's what I chose. <laughs> this might oh, Lazelle didn't like that we chose the left eye. Oh, she didn't kiss it. No, that wasn't mm. so bad, was it? What's funny is the reason why I chose the left eye was because- oh wait, yeah, because the reason why I chose the left eye was because I had Will with me, and Will is missing his right eye, so I was like, oh, we can be opposites, I can have her take my left eye. <laughs> uh, barely felt it. Oh, you do make me laugh. No, unless you want tentacles for a tongue, stay Absolutely still. That sounds kinky. I've removed one of these buggers before, but it's a touch tricky. The parasite squirms at the hag's words. Pain builds behind your eye. You feel the creature writhe as it's dragged towards your ear. Then it bites back, burrowing even deeper into your brain. Tell me it was netherese. I'm not touching that. Yeah. Netherese? Shadow magic brings nothing but 
chains and misery. How could I have missed that stink? Like blood and piss congealing on my tongue. Ah! Someone's tampered with your parasite. That's likely why you've not turned yet. All the more reason to remove it. Or else what? You're a dead soul walking. I can't help you. Story dealing with hags always comes with a cost in this case and I don't look very saying you're not powerful enough. I'd kill you for that. But why deny your regular the pleasure? But let it not be said that Auntie Ethel doesn't honor her debts. Here, it's on you to fix yourself. Now get out! Ready at you for me! Bad enough to have a worm jammed in my eye, but one that's been tampered with. What does that even mean? I mean, how do you tamper with something like that? Oh God. She said it was shadow magic. It must be powerful magic to stop the parasite in its tracks. I wonder what- She'll let me use her power. Uh -huh. <clears throat> there once was a beautiful woman. Men and women alike traveled across the land to earn her hand in marriage, but none could win her heart. Her mother despaired, for she wished for her daughter to find love and happiness. And then her mother died. The woman cried and cried. Her suitors stopped calling. Her friends stopped writing. And still she cried. You poor child, Shar whispered in her ear. They only wanted you for your beauty, for your charm, for your grace. Now that grief has replaced your charms, none care for you, none but I. The woman spoke to Shar, who listened. She prayed to Shar, who answered. For the first time in her life, the woman had a true friend. And then Shar asked her to take a vial, a small vial, an innocent vial. She took the vial to a man. The man filled it with a liquid, uh, and told her to drop it into a well. The woman did. She wanted Shar to love her, to be proud of her. And then people became sick. People died. But Shar loved her. And the woman loved Shar. Now men and women alike travel across the land to see her. Not because she is beautiful. Not because she is charming. But because she is a high priestess of Shar. And her word is law. So that's the hag. Um, no wonder Shadowheart hates her. Wait. Wait, no, Shadowheart, you worship Shar, don't you? You worship Shar. Why don't you like her? Okay, whatever. Um, so plus one bonus to intimidation. Can't make critical hit and has disadvantages on perception checks. So yeah, can't make critical hit. But I guess it's fine. Here. Ooh. Actually, I should have taken all of it. Ew, I want to know what it does. Need to find a way forward. What could it possibly open? Ew, a book. Read it. <laughs> Hold on. A series of recipes accompanied by anecdotes about the meals in question. This is a twist on the traditional dwarven. A Glock stew? Those non-dwarven who can't translate that, don't bother. Okay. No point frightening yourselves. Just make sure that once you've burned the alcohol away, do not add the drider venom. Okay. Substitute it with some other sour whatever agrees with your milky constitution. As to how I discovered this one, back during my watchman days, a drow thief I caught spiked my supper. The look on his face when I quaffed it down was near as good as a spoon. Oh, there's no other- Cool. Mm. Tea house key. How do I- But I guess- I mean, but the thing flies, so the poison's not gonna help me against the spectator. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to... 
what I'm going to do. Going to do tea house key. Tea house key. Oh! Oops, oops, oops. Oops. Tea house key. He's down here. Is there anything? No. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. Mm -hmm. That pretty little eye of yours is mine. Did you think you could sneak down here without my say-so? Yes. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Nah. Where is Marina? Wriggler eating your brain already. <laughs> Leave. She called us thick. Tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Why are you ah. eating her? I thought you were feeding her baby. What's that? Look. What's what? There's no time to waste. What's what? This? Stop. Please. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. I want to see if I can do anything As you about edge it. Closer to Nothing? Okay. What is this place? My darling Magrin, she wished for the mind of a genius, but the silly head crossed me. Uh, what did you ask about Broski? Who this may be? My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. Oh, and so he's staring at. Oh, so he said that her beauty should never fade, so she put her into a mirror, and now he's staring at her. I see. Interesting. Time to press ahead. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. Mm. My dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. The image of two dwarven boys has been carefully chiseled into the stone. Their smiles do not reach their eyes. Don't look. Don't... Stop. Please. Please. My gentle Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Away. Away. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. Oh, the door. I can't let people through. Not again. What happened the last time you opened? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him. Dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Ah. Flee, 
you feel it cry. I'm not afraid of that hag. appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. So she calls everyone Petal, so I'm her newest toy, huh? You see an in. image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. No. Its form flickers and you realize that the door is transparent. Plus eight. <laughs> Damn, and I meant it, bitch. The door shudders, imagining its wooden frame cracking and splintering in a raging inferno. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. You feel the presence within shrink, terrified. Okay. Look. Don't. No. No! Don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. <sighs> I see it. I see what's to come. Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten. Bone shining. Get out of here. Ethel said. Said to look to see. See truth. See death. See. Ah, gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please. Please. Please, please, please. <laughs> Every time you open your mouth, it gets more tempting. No. No. Monster. Mm. My mind dripping, flesh peeling. Oh, my key. Away, away. Wait, what? Don't look. Don't. Um, did I just drop the key? That's not what oh, I meant to do. Please, please, don't. Always room for more. Stop. Then get out of the fucking daggers, duh fuck. Away! Away! Do anything? Don't look. Don't! Mm hmm. Hello, Petal. My, my. The mask suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. And let your dear old Auntie Ethel look after you. Don't! Oh, what? Oh, shit. The stench of rot is a slap to the face. Suddenly she is there, beside you, behind you. Inside you. Oh. Yes. I have you now, Petal. Don't worry. Auntie is going to take good care of you. The stench of rot is a slap to the face. Suddenly she is there. Beside you. Behind you. Inside you. Yes. I have you now. Don't look. Don't look. Damn, I'm so strong. 
Rally. Stop. Please. Please. Away. Away. What can I do? Don't look. Don't. Okay, good. I'm at 14 or 41, so I did a good job. Please. Please. I guess physical attacks are the only one that's gonna do anything. Nope. Mm -hmm. Don't look. Don't Never mind. Stop. Please. Please. Wait! Away! Don't Who needs the look. most healing? Don't take your heal. Stop! Please! Please! Away! Away! Ah! Don't look. Ha! Ah! Don't. Oh fuck! I forgot that I have Leviator's love. Oh Stop. no! So he's literally Please. going to be hanging ah! on for dear life. <laughs> it's kind of funny hearing him just like. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Look. I've got 36 Stop. 36, so never mind. Please. Please. Away! Away! Don't Death. Look. Don't! Action, not reaction. Stop! Please! Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Away! Away! Oh. Don't uh. give in, Look. sweet one. Don't stop your dear. Finally. Take it off. Think again. Damn it! <laughs> Get out. Get out of my head! Please. Please! Quiet, little one. Auntie will make it all better. So I gotta take the mask Wait. off before I help. I am fury. Mm -hmm. I am dead. Don't look. Don't backbreaker. Stop. Please. Please. Mm. Keep your distance, darling. Away! Away! Don't 